Hi, good afternoon. This is Robin Bremer and you're watching Walks with God. And today I want to share with you something that I have been asking the Lord about for a while. And it's a scripture that talks about when Jesus uh, was going to Bethany, or I believe it was the city of Bethany. Uh, he, he was hungry in the morning and he stopped by a fig tree that had leaves on it. And it had no figs on it. And he cursed the fig tree and he said, no fruit will grow from you forever forever. Now I know that the reason that the fig tree had leaves on it because the leaves indicated that it was the time of harvest, the time for fruit to be there. So that's why, you know, Jesus is smart. He, he, he knew the seasons and times and he knew that that fig tree was giving all the signs of having figs, ripe figs on it. And there should have been figs on that tree to eat because uh, it was the season and the time for figs to be ripe. Well, when he went to the tree, there was no figs on it. And his response is, he said to the tree, he talked to the tree, which we're supposed to talk to things. We're supposed to decree things and um, command it to be. And, and the angels and the Holy Spirit, you know, they, they, they cause it to happen because we're decreeing God's will. Well, when Jesus said to the tree, no man will ever eat fruit from you again. I questioned him. I said, Jesus, why did you curse the fig tree? Because if it had been me and I came across a fig tree and I was hungry and I couldn't go to the grocery store and get a cup of milk and some cookies or whatever, my food was, you know, going to a fig tree, I would have said to the fig tree, um, I command you to bear fruit. I command you to be useful, to bear fruit, you know. I, I would have said that to the tree. I wanted to curse it. So... And my logical thinking, I didn't understand why he cursed it, and I questioned him about it. And <laughs> this is what he told me. I was sitting in church in the um, hospitality room here. Instead of going home 45 minutes in the heat and 45 minutes back, and then, you know, coming back to the church when my car air conditioning doesn't work very well, I decided to stay here. So I was just talking to the Lord, and I was looking up that scripture, and I was asking him why he cursed the tree. And I knew I'd get the answer. I've been searching for the answer for just a couple days. And he said, the now listen to this, I thought this was really cool. He said, the reason that he cursed the fig tree is the fig tree reaped what it sowed. Jesus said that when he went to get figs from the fig tree, there were no figs on the tree. So therefore, the tree was reaping more of no more fruit. Just like uh, and then he referred back to the talents, and he gave um, uh, coins, uh, one coin to one person according to their ability to multiply it. He gave five coins to one person and two coins to another person. And he says, uh, while I'm gone, take care of these. And when he came back, the person who had five coins or talents um, went out and got interest and earned five more talents or coins for his master. And he said, well done good and faithful servant, enter into the joy of the Lord. Uh, then the one with two talents did the same thing. He says, look here, I've gained two more talents. But the one that had one talent said, I knew you were a mean man, that you reap where you didn't sow, and you blah, 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 and all this stuff. So I went and hid mine in the ground. And the master said, you are a wicked servant and a fearful servant. You went and hid what wasn't even yours. You should have put it in the bank and gotten interest back on it for me. So... That is, and then he said, take from, take from this one who has one, because he who has little, even that will be taken from him. And he who has much, and he said, give this one coin from this guy who has only one, take it from him, and give it to the one who has five coins. Because the one who has little will have even less, and the one who has five coins will have even more. Because they reaped what they sowed. So that's the scripture he took me back to when he explained to me about the fig tree and why he cursed it. And so I thought that was really a cool revelation and I wanted to share it with you. And that's my revelation for today. You reap what you sow and the fig tree was reaping what it sowed. It sowed no figs in the season when it was supposed to have figs. So Jesus cursed it and it would never again have figs. And this is Robin Bremer and you're watching Walks with God.